we have another calculation problem here, okay? On physics, this is jam physics, okay? I promise to, you know, everyday calculation, so it helps you with your calculations, okay? So, um, here we have, this is on a machine, on uh, levers, okay? So here, you can see from this diagram, okay, let's read, let's read the question. It says, a 200 kg load, that is it, is raised using a... Uh, 110 meter long lever so from here to here is 110 the total length is 110 let's quickly resolve this so if the total length is 110 from here to here is 10 so it means that from this side to this side is 100 okay so we've resolved this all right now it says the load is 10 meter from the pivot p so this is the pivot so from here to here is 10 meter all right load okay so this is the distance moved by the load okay this is distance of the load okay from the pivot now if the efficiency of the leather lever is 80 percent efficiency of this guy is 80 percent find the effort e required to lift the load okay now what is the formula for efficiency all right remember efficiency is work done on load over work done by effort <clears throat> that's work output sorry excuse me <clears throat> that is work output over work input times 100%. And this in um, in physics is what? Your load times the distance moved by load, all right, over your effort times the distance, okay, of the effort from the lever or moved by the effort, okay? All right, then times 100%. So you should know your formulas, especially machines, all right? There's always a question on machines. So know your formulas of machines well, okay? No, you know, some people just know that uh, efficiency is mechanical advantage over, um, over v, that's MA over VR um, times 100%, that velocity ratio. Okay, no, not only that, there are several formulas for efficiency, okay? It is also work work output of our work input times 100 times 100 percent and that work output is the load load part okay that's the output all right that's the load then uh beneath which is the work um work input is the effort part the effort um that either the person uses okay and so that is what your effort times your distance okay i can't write too much here because of the space if not i would love to scribble around okay so but always know i think this is the easiest formula to use just break it down like this load time uh, times your distance by load over effort times your distance by effort times 100 percent. i think just use this formula because questions always come out like this around this all right so here what is our load i know some people will just quickly go and use 200 kg no now you can see this is acting under uh, gravity. You have to convert this load to what? A force, all right? And remember force is what? MA, that's mass times acceleration due to the gravity. So it is 200 times 10, okay? Don't forget, please don't quickly go. And you notice that once you go and use only 200, you will see your answer here, or your answer will appear here. All right, so no, always remember you have to what? Multiply this by the gravity. All right, so you have here, our load is what, 200 times 10. So this will give us 2,000 Newton. All right, you that this load has to be in what, Newton. All right, while the distance is just in what, meters. And the distance by load is 10. So that will be times another 10. Are you with me? Over, what is our effort? That is what we're looking for. We're looking for our E. And what is our uh, times, what the distance by effort is what, 100. So times 100, okay? then we do multiplied by 100 so we can now cancel out quickly i think this um this guy will cancel out this guy you know e here our efficiency we are giving us 80 so we're going to put 80 here so this guy will cancel out this guy we're going to this will be times e okay so you know quickly in math because you know it's this physics just quickly bring down this 80 put e here so i'm that's what i'm going to do i'm going to put e here and bring down this 80 because you know change of subject formula that's what you do so i'll cancel out cancel out uh let's say a two would go here how many times four times a two would go here five times all right 
and what again we can do a four here four here we go here one time and a four in 200 we go 50 times and we're left with what 50 times 5 and that will give us what 250 newton so e is equal to 250 newton and that is what a do you see that so please note your machine's formula all right don't forget to multiply your if you're giving and they always give in kg that's the thing they don't give in newton your questions are always in kg because they know students do miss it okay so if you're giving your load in kg make sure you multiply by your gravity that's why this is here take g as this all right when you see question and, and they say take g as something as, it means there's somewhere you have to use it okay so don't just skip quickly and say oh 200 times no 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 multiply this by this Okay, so you have in newtons and you multiply your, uh, by your distance, 10, that's moved by load, then your effort distance is what, 100, okay? You know, we resolve this by doing 110 minus 10, and this part is what, 100, Why the total length, according to our question, is what, 110, okay? So thank you. So this is our answer for this question. Yeah, don't forget that Jesus Christ is coming soon. Please do give your life to Christ for he's the way, he's the truth, and he's the life. All right? He's the one who's going to lead us to heaven at last. He's taking us to heaven at last. He's coming soon. Jesus is coming soon. All right? And uh, also while we're here on earth waiting, he will also give us peace and his blessings. Everything is in Christ. All right? So come to him today. In him is your success in life, in your exam. Everything is in him. And I know he would favor you in your forthcoming jam 2024 examination. All right, see you. You are destined to win. Don't forget that. You are destined to win in life in Jesus' name. Amen. Also, please do also make sure you get the DTW Jam CBT app to practice all your jam past questions for all subjects. Okay, past questions from 1992 till date. Okay, with correct solutions. You know, your past question booklets put in digital format. That's what is it, that's what is in the DTW Jam CBT app and is in the CBT interface for you to practice. Okay, so please do make sure you get it to support us. And also you can join our intensive classes. The next two weeks to your exam is quite critical. Please do join us from 1st of April, okay, to pre prep for your exam. All right, thank you.